Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about if statement uh, specific to PowerShell. So to begin with that, uh, we would like to test uh, how if statement can be used. Uh, for example, I want to uh, verify if I can find C colon uh, maybe um, a Windows folder or maybe uh, simply one of the exe file. Let's uh, just go to um, maybe I would like to change the directory to C colon Windows and then uh, I wanted to find out uh, can I find anything called uh, uh, explorer .exe. Yeah, I'm able to find explorer.exe. So this file is available. Here the file is available. So this is the next step. What I would be doing is I would be defining uh, to your value uh, in this. For example, uh, this is a variable. I'm just typing as a check file. So I'm going to check the file of this path. So if this path value is going back to this. So it, it means that variable exists with that value. So in tomorrow, if I want to recall within this session, uh, it actually gives me as a path as the explorer. So as a next step, I want to know, uh, find out whether this path exists or not. Uh, to find out, there's a command called test hyphen path. Uh, uh, we did even talk about this uh, in the initial uh, script. So test hyphen path is the path which you wanted to you know verify. So it's actually asking for the input. So I just uh, entered as uh, that's why I'm getting entered. So if you just go for test hyphen path, uh, which would uh, give you an example uh, to uh, uh, to check whether this file or this value is available or not. Let's say this is very useful in fact and uh, relevant uh, specific one more uh, one more command let would be the uh, get content and uh, test path. These are the two things we which we use normally very frequently in other way and also set content. Set and get content as well as the a test hyphen path we would be using very uh, very frequently so in this situation what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, say that a file exists is another uh, define I'm defining another value another uh, variable here altogether like file if the file exists then test path this is the path so in this path actually it exists this one so now if I say that what what it holds is it holds the value of this is true that means uh, it is just validating whether this value is equal into the path which we are uh, which we are validating whether this path exists or not so in this case it says that it is exist and we're getting as a result as true now let me build here a script with these information now so you know now if the file is exist you want to perform some action uh, for example, you may be writing, uh, maybe you, you can call some kind of software to be installed, uh, like think that this is a one DLL file and it has some version specific and you need to you know, install some kind of the software on top of it by using this uh, PowerShell script. Or uh, you can perform uh, some kind of action uh, if the path is exist. So even even though I have taken as explorer.exe as a generic, uh, which is a Windows Explorer, but in general you can, um, write a specific uh, specific uh, criteria to find and uh, and execute some kind of you know uh, steps so what i'm going to do is now uh, now all the steps has been uh, working fine now let me uh, write if case if uh, the value of my file exists that is the file exist uh, then that is equal to equal to q so these are the operators which I have already talked in the introduction of the uh, sorry opposed uh, to the introduction i did talked about the operator specific uh, value so e q means equal you can um, uh, check whether this equal is true so this is the default value uh, whether it is a true if so what i wanted is I wanted to write some value as uh, like write hyphen uh, host that's the output in fact just the output uh, output saying that he uh, has the uh, file found so that's a text I wanted to write and close that curly brackets and now if you hit this uh, you should be able to get the output as yes it so this case is very useful in the situation let me put one more business case to write a powershell script uh, by using isc if you are uh, if you have not at uh, not started the isc section 
uh, this has been recorded later point of IEC uh, introduction so uh, so it might be quite new for you if you want you can you know pass here and go back to IEC section and uh, get familiar with the IEC and then come back to this section so I'm gonna build a script in IEC IEC is the uh, let me give you a little bit of an introduction IEC is the scripting editor that means whatever you write um, that uh, makes more easy for you to edit and type the script for example I can just uh, type as this for example I can say that hey I don't want uh, I, I want it, uh, to make as a comment of uh, just for the script is you know what is action it is performing if you can you know look at here if else also I'm trying to use here in the first uh, uh, first two uh, two lines what I'm trying to do is I'm actually defining a variable so the first variable is the name so uh, the service name I'm putting here as the name and the service is itself is getting a service to display name name is this in this situation let me execute this for example if I just execute this selection of this this is a selection only will run so if I type here as a name that means uh, it will it will return me as a print spooler so it's coming out print a uh, print spooler now uh, here I'm actually putting the value uh, which is another one like you know get service which is a display name error action silently continue that means if there is an error also it's going to continue further uh, if it is not there so let's uh, select this one and run so there is a service is starting uh, running status and the service is found now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this entire command value and putting into the services uh, as a single syntax so then the service becomes as the uh, variable for us so let's execute that line so now we have the two lines got executed one is the name as well as this uh, service now I'm going to validate here if not found as a service if the service is uh, which is this is not found uh, with the name which is again I'm filtering based on my uh, my uh, memory of uh, output then I'm gonna you know uh, returning the value with the name plus uh, it's not installed on this computer if it is installed if it's found I'm going to you know uh, say that hey this is installed that's how I'm gonna write here along with that service status also I'm returning here that's the status of the service which I'm trying to uh, get it uh, from the memory so dollar indicates the memory I have already explained in the a few of the lectures uh, you may uh, refer to that so let's execute everything here as it is uh, as the run as a select so now it says that uh, script is executed and it says that uh, the value is actually it says that a printer spool is installed and it is running because uh, we have the principal service also on this machine so if I stop that service get hyphen example service um, called uh, uh, this in this case uh, printer one of the service so if you see here the service name is a spooler and not the printer so I'm just you know trying to uh, find and I found that it's a spooler as a service name so I'm going to simply this that's the name actually right the spooler it's a service name so uh, I'm going to uh, get the spooler services in a running state so I wanted to uh, see the service should be a stop state so for that what I can do is uh, here um, we can uh, uh, stop service like so if I just execute this uh, stopping the service it has been stopped let's have a check on the sp uh, stopped state currently it is in a stop state earlier it was star started so you can check this uh, it was running and now stopped so let's clear this entire screen and run the entire script once again so now you are getting the services installed but it is in a stop state so what you can do is uh, you can save this kind of you know, script uh, and execute on number of machines which we can learn in the uh, upcoming lectures thank you for watching this i hope this is useful for you